Hi everybody, welcome back to Rosie Rose Reads. I am Rosie and I am reading. Today I have a really fun video for you all. I am actually on vacation right now. I am at the beach in North Carolina and I thought this would be a great opportunity to film a little beach read vlog um, video. I don't know if you can tell, I've gotten some sun. I was just swimming in the ocean, so my hair is a little bit crazy, but I thought now would be the perfect time to sit down and film this intro video. So before I left, I went to Target and I wanted to pick up some summary books to read. So I did. <laughs> um, there were quite a few options. Um, a lot of authors that were very new to me. I've actually never really been on a beach vacation before, so I haven't read a lot of like beach books. So I wanted to pick those up for sure. So the first one that I picked up was is The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Walther. I had seen this all over Bookstagram. I actually also had requested it earlier on Libby, gotten it, and then not gotten around to reading it. So I was glad that I could pick it up and bring it along because I felt like it was perfect. I also got Annabelle Monahan's Same Time Next Summer, and I got The Kingmaker by Kennedy Ryan. I know that this one is not specifically beachy, but I heard really wonderful things about it. I enjoyed um, the other book that I read by Kennedy Ryan and when I saw it at Target because I think it just got picked up by a traditional publisher and before it was indie published, I figured I would get it. So I did. We have actually been here for a couple of days and I haven't sat down to film this video yet, but I have been reading and I actually made it all the way through The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Walther. This book follows Meredith and Meredith and her family vacation on Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts. Uh, she's grown up there. She's now 18. And two years ago, her sister Claire passed away in a car accident. And this is the first time that they have been back at Martha's Vineyard since the accident. So she's really missing Claire. She's also there for her cousin Sarah's wedding. In addition, Meredith is also newly single out of a relationship, a long-term relationship that she broke up with her boyfriend. So there is a lot going on in her life and she gets to vacation with her family. Amongst all of the wedding chaos that is going on for her cousin Sarah's wedding, they are also playing a like family-wide game of assassins where you get given a name and you have to like get that person with a water gun of some sort or like a soaker of some sort and um like get them out of the game so that was a really fun premise um meredith meets wit who is the brother-in-law of the groom and they are attracted to each other quickly become friends quickly become allies in this game of assassin and fall in love during their vacation i really enjoyed it i ended up giving it four stars um i saw it marketed as like really good for taylor swift fans there are some taylor swift references sprinkled throughout I did really enjoy it. I thought the Assassin's game like approach was a really unique way to kind of keep the stakes feeling high and fun, but also like weaving the romance throughout. And I really thought that was like fun and I wasn't expecting it. Uh, I would say this is a good book for anybody who likes kind of like big family dynamics. There is a family tree in the beginning, which was nice because I, checked in with it a couple of times. Um, but I would definitely recommend this. Um, if you're looking for a fun YA romance to kind of fly through. And yeah, I also like love the cover. I think this col cover color is just so beautiful. And like the little heart on the sailboat, I just think it's so fun. So extra points for that. I just today now am picking up same time next summer. I'm about five pages into it and 
this book follows Sam and Sam and her family have a beach house on Long Island and she lives in the city. It is a second chance romance book, which I love second chance romance, we know this. Um, and it is told between a like back then and now perspective. So I am interested to see how this one goes. It is a short read. I think it's only about like 280-ish pages. So hopefully I will fly through this one and I will check in with this vlog again and let you know what I'm thinking. I just wanted to get pop on really quickly and give you an update. I am at the beach. I'm about to get in the water and go for a swim. But last night I finished same time next summer and I really enjoyed it. I think it came in at like four, 4.25 stars. It was a second chance romance, but as much as it was a second chance romance, it was also like about our main character, Sam, kind of figuring out who she was as an adult and what she wanted in her life and kind of realizing that this safe life that she had built maybe wasn't true to who she actually was so it was really good it actually gave me like jess and rory vibes like when rory is dating logan i'm a big jess girl from gilmore girls so it kind of gave me like rory and jess vibes you know the scene where jess is like but what happened to yale like why did you drop out of yale and um it kind of gave me that vibe with sam and her current fiance and then sam and wyatt her like high school love her big love um yeah so it was really good i really enjoyed it it was a really nice beach read it takes place on long island in a like fictional long island town but it was kind of a perfect summer read and it was super quick i also found the writing really intriguing it, the writing felt kind of like a step up almost um some of the parts were like really lyrical about how things were described so yeah i really enjoyed it i wanted to check in like halfway last night and then i didn't and i just like powered through the book so i'm not sure what book is on deck we have about like a day and a half left at the beach so i'm not sure if i'm gonna start another beachy book i have a couple on my kindle that i got um or what is in store all i know is i am gonna go for a swim so i will chat with you all later Hi everybody, so today is the last day of our vacation. We are headed back, but before we get going really on the road, um, we are stopping in downtown Wilmington. I know there are some cute little bookstores down here, so we're gonna pop into those and just like walk around the little historic downtown part but the beach was really wonderful and it was fun to sit outside and read and just relax. So I had a wonderful time. We both had a wonderful time and now I'm excited to check out these bookstores and then head home. And I will check in with you all once we go to these bookstores in case we pick anything up. Who knows? Oh my god, look at that little puppy! Do you see it? That guy's arm. we are back we stopped in Wilmington and we went to two 
bookstores while we were there. The first was Paper Cut Bookstore, which was super cute, like indie and kind of like witchy vibes. And I loved everything about it. Um, and then we also stopped at Old Books on Front Street, which was huge and had a lot of like really old and collectible books. Um, and I didn't spend as much time there because it was a lot. I could have like spent all day. But I did get something at Paper Cut Books and they packaged it in this like really cute little bag with tissue paper. So I wanted to show you all really quickly. So the first thing that I got was um, Allie Hazelwood's Love Theoretically. And I figured like I have The Love Hypothesis and her second book. So I like, Figured I'm gonna read this one, so I might as well buy it from an indie bookstore and support indie bookstores. So I am super excited. We'll definitely be giving this one a read in July. Um, and then I also picked up When in Rome and Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams. And these two, I actually was hoping to find before our beach trip. I wanted to read them on the beach because I heard that they were just like super cute reads and I thought that would be very good even though they're not like beachy. And I didn't find them before we left, but this one was, is a used bookstore, so it was on sale a little bit and they were right there and I figured that is my sign to get them. So I am excited to give these a read. They're both like pretty short, so hopefully I can move through them. And then I got a little sticker that says paper, book, paper cut books, Wilmington, North Carolina. I just thought it was super cute. So that is all that concludes the beach trip vacation. Now we have some time in the car and we are going to listen to our audiobooks. We are doing a tandem read of Empire of Storm and Tower of Dawn by Sarah J. Mass. So we are, I think like 10, 12, 13 chapters into each of them. Um, and we're reading along with like a tandem read checklist. So we are going to continue that for our car ride home. And yeah, it'll be nice to be home and see our puppy but we had a wonderful vacation and I hope you guys had fun coming along as well on this little beachy vlog vacation vlog um if you haven't yet be sure to like and subscribe and until we meet again I hope you have a five-star read bye